Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my name is Manjeet. Today we are going to have a, a small uh, problem statement that is uh, with respect to processing a data with uh, Python, large amount of data. So what we are going to do today is uh, I'm going to read a YAML file and trying to process the data in chunks. That is a um, very common uh, technique most of the developers using nowadays uh, mostly in production because we can access the data and we can load the data but uh, we don't process as soon as we can load the data instantly or a large amount of data uh, straight away in production it's good practice is we can break the data into chunks and then we can go ahead i'm using python 3.9.2 um, as you can see on my screen screen and if you want to change the versions you have multiple versions of python you can select from uh, here and uh, okay let's start uh, first of all we need to import uh, yaml and uh, which yaml I file i am going to read th uh, that is uh, data.yml i am having uh, two blocks here one is title in inside that we have a new and old and uh, one is user inside that we have a number of users which i want to um, uh, access in this video and uh, we will then process or we can just print out the users but in chunks and uh, how we can do it importing yaml and uh, then i'm going to open this uh, yaml file uh, in a read mode how we can do it uh, in, a, in a read mode single quotes the name of the file is data dot yml as file yeah as a next step i'm going to take a variable user list is equal to yaml dot load file loader is equal to yaml dot full loader okay so next thing just we want to print a file content let's see save it control s run the code yeah we are able to print it we have a title new and old and we have a user block inside we have a list of users yeah so it's printing out successfully if i want to get a type of this user list for example which type of uh, variable it is i want to print control s then the code it's a dictionary okay but we need to get a list uh, not a dictionary to process it in chunks so how we can do it um, we can access the user from the user list by opening a raw uh, square basis in single quotes we have user let's save and run yeah now we have a list of users only because i'm trying to access the user block only by giving user here as a next step what we need to do i can uh, go with the function um, by defining a function called chunks inside chunks i have to give list and n n can be any value uh, it can be uh, 5 10 it is actually the value of our value of my chunk so for i in range 0 to length of the list and the last element is n yield over it over the list with square bracket i colon i plus n okay sorry it's not capital i and last bit of is printing out 
in chunks for um, let's say for accounts in chunks um, values list is um, user list again we have to specify in square bracket with the user and the second element is uh, and that is a number it can be two three four five ten twenty anything let's see four and we can print account all right save it run it and we have we are going to you know having an output in chunks i have specified four here that's why it's reading four by four and whatever left in the end it will just display all of it um, if i can just give five here control s run and it will read five by five the it's a very uh, good technique uh, guys um, in most of the cases and in the real time situation i think uh, you will get um, data from the multiple locations or you have to read the multiple yaml files in a directory you can you know use this technique i have just um, giving you a small idea at a very low level but yeah um, uh, because i want to keep the video short and crisp just wants to give you or give you an idea about like how you we can break the uh, data into you know uh, small pieces and uh, uh, one by one over the loop we can process that data uh, in a in a very smooth way of doing uh, obviously a reliable solution uh, with respect to production and uh, you can also you know enhance this with a try and catch or using a logger to generate logs and then you can have a exceptions accept, exception handling obviously with the unprocessed accounts or something like that so that's it it was uh, just about uh, showing you some idea about it and um, uh, i hope you like this video and uh, i'll definitely catch up with you with the next video thank you